filmed that scene for 12 straight hours. And this one had contacts in her eyes, and it was just... Googly eyes, literally. The rain was, like, pushing them out. They were swirling they were. <laughs> around my head. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what was the last day on set like? Was oh, uh, you know, <laughs> it was actually the dance at the wedding, right? That was basically the last big day when everyone was there, and, and we ended like it, it came. The dawn came, and everyone was it the around. dance or was it the reception? Do you remember? Yeah, that's what I mean. That dance. Remember that dance scene? In the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. 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 No, one I dance know. matters to me. <laughs> Go. <laughs> All right, this next question is anonymous and it is for Bill. What was unexpectedly the easiest and hardest thing you faced during the shooting? Oh my God. Um, you know what? It, easiest for me, weirdly, because it just went so great and I was so nervous about it was the scene where Bella died, I gave birth and died, you know? It was, it was, I mean, it was amazing, you know, the dedication of all you guys, but, but it was like once it happened, the entire crew, do you remember that? It was like everyone got quiet for the whole night. It was like something real was happening there. So once we got into it, it was actually like, you knew, you knew it was really happening. It felt suddenly like a different movie that night. Yeah. yeah. It's weird, I, I was expecting the wedding to be the most difficult thing and it was the easiest. Yeah. I mean, I was so able to just sort of like zone out. I was like transcendently weird that day. Right. I was walking around like in such a zone. <coughs> um, yeah. But but the birth thing was actually, I think it was the most difficult because I, I didn't want to stop shooting it. I just kept wanting to push it further. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheryl wants to know, for Taylor, what was the best advice your parents gave you? <laughs> what? What did she say? This question's for Taylor. They want to know, what's the best advice your parents gave you while filming Twilight? Um. I love the... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, they didn't give me specific advice about filming. Um, I mean, uh, I, I mean, my parents have always taught me to uh, to work hard, and I mean, nothing comes without hard work. Uh, um, so, I mean, you know, this this journey for all of us, it it hasn't been easy. It's I mean, it it's been a lot of fun, and we're we're very thankful. But it, you know, it has required a lot of hard work. Um, so I I don't know. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing that they've they've left me with it just never gets old <laughs> i do it too amanda mularkey all right amanda asked this question to rob and she wants to know what is the most memorable thing memorable thing you will remember about doing the saga I think probably the, uh, the, I, well, I have a scene. I mean, the, the whole thing kind of is, is a good memory. But I, the, the one scene I think I'll take away with me um, is the dance at the end of the first one in the gazebo. Because it's just, uh, 
I think, was that the last scene? Was that the last scene we shot for the first one? Yeah, well, something like that. One of the last scenes. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that would be that was a really great memory. There were all these little frogs croaking around and stuff, and <laughs> it was really sweet. And uh, and then there's the kind of most indelible image as well, and to know that that little moment suddenly started this whole uh, thing. Like it's <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> this next question is for Kristen. They want to know how does it feel to finally be one of the vampires? <laughs> Feels so good. <laughs> yeah, man, she was literally like born to be this. It's like I mean, I think so, but yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> But I think she is, definitely. <laughs> Anonymous says, have you seen Breaking Dawn yet? And what are your thoughts? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I liked it as well. <laughs> um, I, uh... I'm actually, I'm really, really proud of it, and I think, uh, I think everyone involved should be, but um, I'll use this moment to brag about Bill a little bit. Um, it, I mean, it, sometimes it, it seems like it could be tough, you know, playing the same characters for, for so long and being directed by somebody different each and every time, you know, except for these, these last two. Um, and Bill made this experience so easy to, to slip back into and, and slip right back into our characters. And uh, I don't know, he just, obviously this guy's talented as a director, and you guys, you know, if you haven't seen any of his previous films, you'll, you'll see it in this one. Um, but, uh, I mean, m more impressive for me is him as a person, just the mood that he creates on set for everyone. It's a really fun environment, and we, we, we had a great time making it, and I'm, I'm extremely proud of the film, and I think you guys will be as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this next question is for, from Ronnie, and it's for Bill. They want to know, how is directing the Breaking Dawn films differ, different from your previous film projects? Oh, wow. It, you know what? The big thing is it's, a, it's got more special effect shots than Avatar. I mean, almost every shot is a special effect shot, and I'd never done that before. So for me, it was like going to school on all that stuff, and I loved it, you know? And especially, I think, you know, when we get into this stuff where it's really subtle, like tiny little things that happen with Kristen as she gets sicker and sicker, it's, it's like to, wa to watch, like, the way you can use it to tell a story, that was, it was a real revelation for me. Anonymous wants to know, and this is kind of separated, they say, Bill, if you had the chance to direct any type of movie, what would it be? And for the three of you, what would be another dream role? I think a movie without special effects. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next time. Do you guys have a quick answer for a, for a dream role? Um, I... Snow White? wants to know, what was your audition process like for Twilight? Oh, wow. what, what was your audition process like? <laughs> I mean, I'm actually really interested. I had to meet with Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember where we met? Yeah, that was awesome. I loved that. We met in New Orleans. I was working on, I was doing On the Road when I met him. Uh, the audition process. I auditioned while I was doing uh, Adventureland in Pittsburgh. And um, I, I've talked about this before, but I spent like four hours in a room with Catherine, and by the end of it sort of went like, I think we should go. I think we're being really weird. Um, but I hope that I'm, 
I hope that, you know, I, I, I sort of left knowing that I had the part and um, the next step was finding this guy. <laughs> Take it from there. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I went to do a meeting at Catherine's house in Venice, and <laughs> the address is. Uh <laughs> 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 um, yeah, and uh, and I read with Kristen for I don't know, like four hours or something, or like three hours or something, um, with a ton of different scenes. I think I remember doing different stuff. We did the. We did a couple of the ones that are in the movie, like the biology scene and uh, the um, some other scene when in she did in the garden. I don't know what it was about. <laughs> 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 Lots of plant singing. And, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, man, you better watch it. What? <laughs> This is this is this is near and dear. <laughs> what? No, I was. We did no prancing. That's how I got the part. <laughs> Strong with prancing, um, and uh, no, it was really cool. It was really fun, and uh, it felt like a very different movie to what I thought it was going to be when after I'd met both of them, and um, yeah, and then I sent a really ass kissy letter to Catherine Hardwick, <laughs> uh, which I've never done before or since, and <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. That was. 